Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to cook chicken galantina meatloaf. For the ingredients, we need to prepare black ground black pepper and optional are thyme and basil. These are optional. We need two eggs and breadcrumbs, salt, pickled relish, two tablespoons of chopped bell pepper, uh, minced chicken and minced pork, grated cheese, sliced chorizo de Bilbao. If you don't have chorizo de Bilbao, you can also use something like this, Chinese chorizo, if whatever's available, and then grinded um, carrots, and two boiled eggs, raisins, sliced sausages, minced onion, chopped ham. Chopped ham is optional if you already have the sausage. Okay, so our, our ingredients are complete. Okay, so we start with the minced pork and then we added the we will be adding the minced chicken. The ratio will be 25% minced pork and 75% minced chicken. Then after combining the minced pork and chicken, the next thing you need to add is the chopped onions. Then after chopped onions, we will add the finely chopped bell peppers or capsicum um, for this i prefer to use red ones you should use red ones so it looks more festive make sure you only add the dry part do not include the watery part because you need to avoid the mixture from being watery for these peppers, you may also combine the three colors of bell peppers or capsicum, green, yellow, and red. But if you only have one color, it should be red or red and green also can. Next, you need to add grated or minced carrots. I used the grinder to grind the carrots but if you want it finely chopped you can also just chop it finely it looks better for a meatloaf if your ingredients are all finely grinded or chopped because the meatloaf will not be coarse it's more fine okay the next thing i added is the grated cheese actually there's no particular sequence of adding the ingredients you just really toss them together um, now next is this sausage you can use chicken franks or vienna sausage it's up to you any chopped sausage will do okay so this next ingredient is optional i just happened to have some leftover cooked ham in my fridge so i chopped them into tiny pieces and added them to the mixture again these ham bits are optional if you don't have it it's okay next you can add now the pickle relish for this quantity and this size of um, recipe I only use about two tablespoons of pickle relish so after the pickle relish, next we will be adding the chorizo de Bilbao. Since I'm not in the Philippines and there's no available chorizo de Bilbao in this country, so I added the Chinese chorizo. Chinese chorizo, I don't really like cutting them very small. But for this recipe, you should be cutting them very small. I just love the color. I like it to pop up. So I cut them, slice them into very thin slices big thin slices okay next add your raisins just a tablespoon of or one in, or two tablespoon depends on you some people don't really like eating raisins right okay let's gently toss a little bit before adding the next ingredient which is the breadcrumbs so just add one cup of any type of breadcrumbs. You can use any type of breadcrumbs. For this, I used Japanese breadcrumbs. Okay, just like to mix them again. So let's toss them a little bit. Mix and mix. 
before we add the remaining spices. So next you crack two eggs. I'm cooking one kg so I'm cracking two eggs for one kg. Okay, so let's mix them all together so they are fully combined. After this, we need to add the spices. Add 2 teaspoons of fine salt. You may also use Himalayan pink salt if you like, but I prefer using fine salt. Next, add half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Then, add the optional spices. The optional spices can be thyme and rosemary, or basil, or garlic powder and onion powder. Any two of those. Make sure all the ingredients are mixed evenly. So, just While mixing your ingredients, remember that your oven must be heated up at 250 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. After mixing, prepare a loaf pan and grease it. Yeah, brush the oil, or you can also use butter margarine, but prefer using oil to grease it. All right. Grease the whole surface of the loaf pan. After greasing, place half of the mixture into your baking pan. Then, after placing half of the mixture, flatten them evenly. Place the two boiled eggs in the middle, in the center of your pan. Okay. Then add the remaining mixture. Once done, make sure to press the mixture and flatten it so that it will mold into your loaf pan. After done, set it aside. Okay, slice some chicken breast fillets or any chicken fillet that you can find and season them. I don't have any chicken breast fillet, chicken breast available in the fridge, so I took these little slices of chicken fillets and then I seasoned them with garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. I sprinkled a little spice. Again, it's optional. You don't need to add any more spice just salt and pepper and garlic and onion powder should be enough okay this chicken today will be our next layer on top of our loaf pan arrange them as your next layer the bigger the size of your chicken is the better now for our topmost layer place four slices of bacon Four to five slices depends on the size of your loaf pan. Just ensure that your top layer is covered with slices of bacon. Now ready to bake for 
60 minutes at 250 degrees Celsius. Depending on the size, you may also bake it for 50 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. One hour later. Okay, now our chicken galantina is done. Uh, we can see some of the oil on top so we're going to strain the oil and then we have to put this galantina upside down on a big platter cover in white leafy vegetable and for this I'm using a glass tray place the tray on top and flip it it's now upside down and you can slowly remove the pan. So using a brush, I use the drained oil to brush it on the surface of our meatloaf so that it doesn't look dry. Brush a little oil on the top and on the sides. Then after done, you can now garnish it with any garnish that you like. For garnish, I will be using pineapple slices and some cherries. And now it's ready to serve. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please click like and if you haven't subscribed, please do so and click the notification bell for updates of our upcoming videos. See you again on my next cooking video.